they say that they would like to thank you all very, very much for coming here today. It's been a great evening and just chilling with you. And um, the goodness of the sun heals without you. So there you go. Um, this last piece uh, has its roots in uh, one of my earlier visits to Ireland. It's called The Wild Wind. Hello everybody, this is Trainer Man and in this tutorial I want to uh, talk about how to create the dominoes animation. It's really simple, just uh, talk and watch it. Okay, uh, this is our trade scene and uh, you know, the base object of dominoes is box, usually it's box. So I create a simple box. It doesn't matter what is your dimension and length, width and height, just uh, create it with your own dimension. So it's a simple box. This is my first uh, part of dominoes. I want to uh, array and actually copy this uh, box so I can uh, check it and also follow this object and choose it and then hold shift and move it on. Uh, X axis with the normal uh, dimension distance for example this is it's also good so here you can see column op options for example number of copies uh, yeah with uh, how many copies you like to take for this object for example 25 uh, and uh, here you can see uh, which method do you like to copy? Copy instance reference. Uh, as I just repeated the instance because it has a common object and common modifier uh, together and uh, I will have a more explanation about it. So put a OK. You know, these are instance together. So uh, when I put a mo uh, modifier for this box, it will assign to all of the our box. Or also when I uh, edit the lens dimension you can see also all of the lens dimension of the all of the our box uh, will will be different like this look at this these are instance together and it's very good so uh, I suggest you use the instance so I use it and click on this box and whatever I said, whatever you assign to this box, it will assign to all of the our box. So, do you know that we have a very, very, very good modifier on 3D Studio Max? It will simulate the physical uh, animation, actually, physical, uh, actually, physical points on the our object. Uh, this modifier is mass FX. Do you know? Sorry, search it. Mass FX region body, and I choose it. You can see it will assign to all of the R box the R scene. So, if your object has a uh, is moving and has an emotion, just put your rigid body on dynamic or actually dynamic. And if your object is uh, actually stop and it doesn't have any emotion uh, and it uh, doesn't have any motion it's not moving around your through the scene put it on a study you know the dominoes all of your dominoes uh, have any uh, has a motion and they are moving together so I suggest you use dynamic you can see that is very good collider because it's box and so you can put physical shapes and a shape of type you can sit on box if your shape is uh, if your shape is uh, like a sphere put it on a sphere and also whatever so I put in box and now I go to mass effect toolbar and play animation you know it doesn't have any uh, motion because you know these are the uh, stop together and they don't have any motion so if you want to have any motion on your dominoes just rotate the first part of dominoes so it will fall and also it will fall 
any one motion together just I go to this tool rotate and rotate it for example 40 degree 25 is better <laughs> so now I uh, play the very good Mass FX toolbar look at this they are going and following each other it's very good just watch it out it's very good it's a real dominoes animation hope you enjoyed and like it please subscribe our channel on youtube or another website and also if you can uh, will be if you are creative if you have a very creative mind you can use the mass effects toolbar for any uh, animation is very good